They were shot by a, a shotgun. A 12-gauge shotgun is what we discovered. Three Winnipeg police officers are recovering after being shot over the weekend during a barricaded incident. The first time a police officer has been shot in the city since 2006. One officer sustained a wound to his thigh that was uh, embedded, an embedded shotgun pellet within his thigh. One officer sustained a wound to his forearm, also from a shotgun pellet. And one officer sustained a wound to his chest and his inner thigh, also from shotgun pellets. All were treated at hospital for non-life-threatening injuries and all went home that night. The incident started February 9th when officers were called to a home in the 300 block of Boyd Avenue following an armed robbery by three males. There, police say a 40-year-old man was shot and sustained serious lower body injuries and a 25-year-old woman was believed to be forcibly taken, the suspects fleeing before police arrived. The next day, officers learned that the missing woman may be inside of an apartment at 285 College Avenue. Police say while five people at the home exited voluntarily, including the 25-year-old who was there on her own volition, two suspects remained. Noxious gas was deployed into the apartment, at which time Chief Danny Smyce says shots were fired through the door of the apartment and interior wall into the hallway, striking the three tactical officers. The group were turning fire on the suite and retreating to the stairwell. Shortly after, one of the suspects would surrender and another was found inside by canine officers, Smith saying the operation was considered a success. Nobody was seriously injured. Um, you know, we, we'll... We'll support our members through, uh, through their experiences being fired upon. Uh, none of the suspects in this case were seriously injured, and, and uh, that's, a, that's a good outcome. Everybody went home uh, that night. The building at 285 College is owned by the Petter family, a landlord in the city that sometimes operates under the name Living Recovery Foundation. Police are no strangers to the address, as in September 2023, Daniel Raymond Garvey Rodriguez was shot at the building and died as a result of his injuries. Karen Harper Penner, who is the founder of Living Recovery, did not respond to requests for comment, but Chief Smyce said officers will be flagging concerns about the building. Winnipeg Police Association President Jeremy Call said in a statement, quote, This was a dangerous situation, and we are relieved that none of our members were seriously or fatally injured. We are also relieved that our members were able to conclude it with no loss of life. These incidents are a reminder of the dangers faced by police officers and the importance of having properly trained, equipped, and resourced police members who can handle these dangerous situations properly, end quote. Police say both 43-year-old Jeremy James Casey's and a 50-year-old man were charged and taken into custody. In Winnipeg, Morgan Majeski, City News.